Welcome to Revise Chemistry with Mr. B. In this video, we're going to be looking at the effects of changing the temperature on the rate of reaction. I've got two sets of identical reactants. This set of reactants has been sat in some cold water to make it nice and cold. And this set of reactants has been warmed up by placing it in some warm water. I'm going to mix the reactants together now. And then we're going to see what effect the temperature has on the rate of reaction. So I'm sure you can see that that one changed the quickest and then that one was a slightly slower reaction at the lower temperature. So why does increasing the temperature increase the rate of reaction and make the reaction faster? So why did the reactants in the warmer water change color the first? Well, if we increase the temperature, that means the particles have more energy. So the particles are going to move around a lot quicker. That means there's going to be more frequent collisions but there'll also be more successful collisions. So rather than the particles just bouncing off each other, they'll actually cause a reaction. And more frequent collisions and more successful collisions mean there'll be a higher rate of reaction. So the reaction was quicker at the higher temperature. Now I want to be a little bit quantitative and work out how much faster the reaction gets as we increase the temperature. So I've got here some hydrochloric acid at 22 degrees and I've weighed out 0.5 grams of magnesium. And I've got a gas syringe to measure the volume of gas that is made by the reaction. So I'm going to add the magnesium to the acid, start the stopwatch, and I'm going to use the gas syringe to measure the volume of gas made within the first 10 seconds of the reaction. So when the reaction gets to 10 seconds, I'm going to pull the bung out of the flask and now I can read off that it's produced 37 centimetres cubed of gas in that first 10 seconds. I'm now going to repeat it but add the acid at a higher temperature. I'm going to repeat the reaction but this time the acid has been in this electric water bath so it's been heating up to 38 degrees C. So once again, I'm going to add the same mass of magnesium to the acid, start the stopwatch and see how much gas is made in the first 10 seconds. And I can now see that in the first 10 seconds, it's made 74 centimetres cubed of gas. If we want to work out the actual rate of reaction at these two different temperatures, then we need to know the amount of product produced and the time taken. So at the lower temperature of 22 degrees, it produced 37 centimetres cubed of gas in 10 seconds, whereas at the higher temperature, 38 degrees, it produced 74 centimetres cubed of gas in 10 seconds. And the formula for working out the rate of reaction is the amount of product produced divided by the time taken. So at the lower temperature, that is 37 centimetres cubed divided by 10 seconds. So that is 3.7 and the unit is going to be centimetres cubed slash seconds. At the higher temperature, it's going to be 74 divided by 10, which is 7.4 centimetres cubed per second. So we can now see how much faster the reaction was going at the higher temperature. It's really important you remember the explanation for this increase in the rate of reaction. So don't forget at the higher temperature, the particles are going to have more energy. They will move around a lot quicker. So there will be more frequent collisions and more successful collisions. That's why there was the higher rate of reaction. Thank you for watching. 